am Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet these hanging kitchen towels. This is part of the International Crochet Month celebration at undergroundcrafter.com. To do this, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver, a size H crochet hook, a yarn needle, a kitchen towel, and a one and a half inch button. First, fold the towel in half this way. If you want, you can press the top part flat with a hot iron. With a pencil, make 31 dots about a half an inch apart across the folded top of the towel. These will be used for sewing. Next, take one strand of yarn and measure off eight times the width of the towel for sewing. Then thread a yarn needle. Tie a knot the two ends together about five inches from the ends. This creates a double yarn for sewing. We're going to do the blanket stitch. This first stitch is always the most difficult. Insert through the front part of the towel first. Hide that five inch tail end inside for now. Wrap the yarn around to the back and insert the needle like this towards the front. Now insert the needle along the top. Move the yarn to the other side and insert the needle like this. Ensure the top forms a horizontal bar. Move to the next mark. And the next one. Repeat this across the row. At the end, make your last stitch. Then I like to hide my yarn inside like this. Cut the yarn once completed. Remember that starting strand? Do the same weaving in process with it. With Red Heart, you can get one strand from the middle of the skein and one strand from the outside of the skein. Holding the two strands together like this, make a slip knot on your hook. Then slip stitch underneath the first horizontal bar. Chain two. Make one double crochet under each horizontal bar of the blanket stitch. At the end, chain three and turn your work. The first chain three counts as one double crochet. Make a double crochet in the next stitch. Then over the next two stitches, make a double crochet two together stitch. Next, make one double crochet. And then make another double crochet. Then a double crochet two together stitch. Continue with this pattern of one double crochet, one double crochet, double crochet two together across the row. At the end, chain three and turn your work. This third row will be exactly like the previous row. Notice how the decreases are causing the towel to curve inward. Fourth row, same thing. Fifth row, 
same thing again. And one more time on the sixth row. Sometimes this stitch pattern doesn't always end perfectly. I only have three stitches left, so I'm going to just put one double crochet in each of the last three stitches instead of trying to fit in a double crochet two together. It won't hurt the pattern at all. I have nine stitches on this row. Now we're going to begin the loop row. With this, just make one double crochet in each stitch across. And do this for a total of four rows. Row five will be a buttonhole row. So determine where the center is. I have the chain three and three more double crochet stitches. then chain one and skip a stitch and make the last four double crochet stitches at the end. Check to ensure your button fits through. Chain three in turn for this sixth and final row of the loop, just make one double crochet in each stitch across. Fasten off and properly weave in all ends. Sew the button on around the fourth row and try it out. And that's how I make a hanging kitchen towel. <laughs>